Good morning, YouTube. If I look like I'm unhappy, that's because today we're going to do the valve covers, the valve cover gaskets on my 458. It's going to suck. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is my garage, and that is Adam, and he's on his phone. Oh. I'm making social media posts. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Uh, and, and you can see a giant boxes of Klein stuff. So actually one of my customers bought a bunch of Klein stuff. I am sending them out to get ceramic coated for him. And I wanted to time it such that I can ceramic coat those whereas we do the valve covers and the intake manifold. So I haven't sent those out yet. They're all going to the same place, Enigma ceramic coatings here in Austin. But today we're gonna do the valve covers on my Ferrari 458 and I am not looking forward to this. So let me show you why this is gonna suck. But before I do real quick, if you want to support the channel, go visit normalguyssupercar.com. Use the code NGS10. It takes off 10% almost everything in the store. Let me show you what's going on. All right, here is the engine. And you can see we uh, obviously still have the intake manifold off, but way down here is the valve covers and they are not super easy to get access to. <sighs> Man, this is gonna suck. So we have to pull off all of the ignition coils and then we have to uh, unscrew all these bolts and get all the wires out of the way and also probably need to first clean up some of the dirt and debris because i don't want any of that falling into the lifters and valve covers once we get those off like or getting into the i guess they call it the head covers in the fry world but uh, i've always heard them as valve covers but whatever the other thing is we looked at my intake valves and they are pretty disgusting so I want to find a way to clean those and I'm contemplating just using like sea foam. Some people have said use the crushed walnut stuff. That makes me really nervous. <laughs> so I'm not sure I want to do that. But I do also think I want to find a way to make it so that the valves don't get so nasty in the future since we have a direct injection engine. So what I did do and what we are going to do in the near future is I ordered an oil catch can system to replace my PCV systems. Basically, if you think about this engine, all of the debris on those valves is pretty much coming from oil that's being recirculated into the engine through the PCV system. So it's a positive crate case ventilation system. It's throwing a little bit of oil there and you can actually see there's even a little bit of oil right here on the intakes that is being sprayed in. So here is the PCV and you can see it gets injected back here. It comes off of the top of the oil container right here. So I've read that these Ferraris, because they are dry sump, doesn't have a ton of PCV pressure. It doesn't have a ton of PCV oil. That's why they're not too bad. So like if this had been a early BMW direct injected, direct injected engine, this thing would be in terrible shape at this point with this many miles. But being that it's a Ferrari, it doesn't have that much stuff on it. If I clean them, I want to remain nice. So we're gonna throw a PCV oil catch can on there and get rid of the PCV system. Let's do some valve covers, yes. Ugh. So here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is clean up some of this dirt. So there is a lot of dirt right here. I don't want any of that dirt falling into, into the valve train. So that's gonna need to come out of there. Uh, interesting enough, when I was looking at the instructions on how to remove the valve covers, uh, it basically was like, oh, we're assuming you pulled the engine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're not going to, so uh, yes, it's gonna suck. So actually there's a bunch of these uh, connectors and stuff got disconnect. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to do a lot of these connectors because, well, you know, it's a Ferrari and they use 85 different types of connectors. We'll just do our best. We're gonna need definitely a screwdriver to pop off some of these yellow tabs. There's a lost component. See it right there? No. I can see it from here. There. Oh. 
And it's literally sitting on the headers. Where'd that soft thing go? What soft thing? Oh, here it is. It has 69 likes. Ah, oh, yeah. Jackpot. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> So is the, this side all cleaned up? Yeah, mostly. One thing I don't know how to get is this stupid plug. What plug? Oh the, yeah, I was trying to figure that out as well. There is like no clip or anything. I mean, the only thing I could say is um, just unbolt it from the valve cover and undo the this line at least. And yeah, then just this set is it the off. high pressure line. For fuel? This is the fuel line. Oh, f that. Yeah, so I don't think we want to do that. And it didn't show that it was doing that. I think you left this, but I don't know. Maybe it just kind of goes around it. I guess he kind of... Yeah, I guess so. What does a Ferrari and a McDonald's ice cream machine have in common? I'm gonna guess something about a Sunday. No, they're always a part needing to be worked on. How's a McDonald's always? Oh, like? you don't know that joke? It's a meme online. Like oh. the McDonald's ice cream machine never works. Like oh yeah. When you go, yeah. Like when you go, oh, our ice cream, our ice cream machine's not working. Somebody made an app to, to let you know if the ice cream machine's down or not <laughs> at your McDonald's. So. Very good. Yeah, it loses its funny when I have to explain it to you. Yeah, I wasn't very good. Sorry. You suck. Yep, I ruined your fun. You did. Okay, uh, I've been working at it for probably about an hour, so... Um, Got the ignition coils out, got most of the hoses disconnected, so there was a hose there, wire connector there, two wire connectors up there, another wire, like, routing thing there. Uh, apparently the instructions say you can leave the high pressure fuel pump in place, so we're gonna attempt to do that. Uh, gotta disconnect the mount for the secondary air injection. We got all the secondary air injection stuff out of the way. <sighs> I mean, Adam's kicking Dan's ass at taking Yeah, this you're apart. definitely hauling. Whoop. <laughs> Something fell, hit my shoe. Oh, it was a, it's a washer. All right, well, we need that. Okay, YouTube, I think, I think we have all the bolts off of the valve covers and I was on literally the last bolt. We had not dropped a single thing onto the bottom tray and on the last bolt, after I loosened it, it popped off and I dropped the tool onto the bottom tray. So I think we're gonna jack the car up real quick, pull off the diffuser and try and retrieve the tool. And then we're gonna pop off the valve covers. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna vacuum all the debris out just so we don't have anything like, you know, falling into the valve cover or into the valves. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> All right.
right, let's there give it a blows. shot. Here, give me that. Let's see if I, I want to hit the shit out of your expensive ass Ferrari. The internet is going to castrate you. I might need a screwdriver and kind of pry on it. Wow, that's like super thick gasket. Wow, they ain't screwing around with this gasket. Look how far in it goes. And yet they still leaked. No, these didn't leak. I thought you said that they were prone to leaking. That's why oh. you were going to have to do it eventually. They're prone to leaking. They're not leaking. You yeah. just leaked in the present tense. It was okay. not leaking. Okay. Then yet still these leak. Yes. Not grammar Nazi. Did you know that Hitler's speechwriter was the first grammar Nazi? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, I need to pull up on that stuff. Not super hard, just enough. That's a little more. That's a more. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know. It's like you never listen to me. It's like you don't take me seriously, Dan. Oh, it's the sensors. You're not clearing the sensors down there. Oh, they're hitting the... Yeah. Where are they? Well, Where? no, the sensor is staying on the, on the head. What? Yeah. These are? Yeah. Oh. So you need to lift the valve cover up above those. What? Yeah. See? Oh, shit. Hola. Hi. What's up? How's it going? <sighs> well, it came, the, all the nuts and everything came out easier than we expected, but getting the valve cover itself out is proving to be a pain. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to do? fun <laughs> it's one word for it well at least it's like nice and cool in here yeah yeah ac works great you see what i'm talking about though mm -hmm. how you have to go up higher yeah i just i don't know how i can with this thing right here there's no way it can go higher i don't know how you can get that out um we need to check the instructions it doesn't say to remove that but i would at least unplug the sensor and then try to you can't. That's definitely a sensor, like plugged into that thing. Yeah, I don't know how you get it out. What did the instructions say to do? <laughs> Here, let's take a look. All right, here's the problem. This fuel pump is in the way of the valve cover and we can't get it out past that. So I believe we're gonna have to pull off the fuel pump, which I really didn't want to have to do, but it looks like we're gonna have to, so. You know, the worst part about this is how difficult it is to get out is going to be even more to get in yeah we're gonna have you're right we gotta pull that let's just pull it uh i need a big ass wrench yeah yeah because there's no way we'll be able to get it back into place with the cup with the gasket on it are these the only wrenches you have you have metric mixed with say yes that's wrenches box and wrenches are in that drawer oh my god it's not that complicated can't take you. I'm looking for one that looks like it will fit. It's probably like a 17. I think it's bigger than 17 or 18. I think yeah, it's it like is. in the 21 or 22 range. I see a 24. This is madness. I can't work like this. Is that partial yours? The one okay, yeah. so I need one that's smaller and one that's bigger. And what size is that? Three this quarter. is three quarter. The big one probably is a seven eighths. So here's seven eighths. And 11 sixteenths. Oh, wow. Like two weeks? Yeah. Oh. Can you get me a rag just in case? The funny thing is, is I wanted, to take, oh, I wanted to take that off when we were taking the intake manifold out. Lessons were learned. And he was like, no, we don't need to take it out. Which, well, you technically, you should have seen the time I need the to... regular Allen. It's up in the I top know, left. I, I Technically speaking, he was right. We didn't need to pull it out for um the intake yeah but it would have made it the job a hell of a lot easier true i have a feeling this is it's gonna have a gasket we're gonna need to order if it's a simple gasket it may just be cheaper just to get it from the dealership yeah. <laughs> i've learned that lesson that if it's a stock item and something simple it's almost always cheaper to go to the dealership uh not with ferrari 
Oh, well, I don't have a fucking ah. sissy car that's all temperamental. Notice he doesn't rebuke anything. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> Never really took these for sissy cars, but <laughs> you learn something new every day. I guess, I guess uh, by sissy, I meant like temperamental or prima donna ish. I mean, it's definitely prima donna ish. Yeah, okay. That's what I meant. I go, I'll go with that. I'll give you that. I, I won't go with sissy. Sissy's not the right word. They're prima donnas. Yeah. I'll be damned. There is no gasket. Yeah, there is literally no gasket. Oh, you know why? It's got an O-ring. Yeah, it probably doesn't need a gasket like where the... It just seals right there yeah. for the oil. Yeah. Those are probably just purely just for holding it in. Yep. Is this exhausting? All right. Let's give it a shot now. Let's see if it clears. It's stuck on now. This, I think it's those sensors. I think it just needs to go up slightly there's, more. There's something protruding from the inside. Yeah, it's those sensors. Yeah. Okay. Is it possible to um, clear? Or move your hand for a second. It's going to be close. It, those are the cam variators. Oh. 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 Yeah, there it is. Putting this in is going to be so much fun. How are you guys doing? Yeah. We're cussing. We're at the cussing stage. Um, yeah, it's one of those. That's what I'm told about this door. Are the things that are supposed to come out not coming out? Yeah. The valve cover, the part we're trying to get out is not coming Precisely. out. Yeah, right. No. Like we were, it was going really good up to this point. And even I was like, man, I don't want to jinx it, but it's going really smooth. Like right when, before we started doing this. And now look what I've done. What's the barrier? Uh, uh, some okay. sensors. There's like two big sensors that are protruding gotcha. from the... You know, without any adversity, you don't really have a story arc, though. That's true. <laughs> are you rooting for adversity? <laughs> no, <that's> like, <laughs> it mean, almost sounds like she's cheering the car on. If you think about it... <laughs> the car is the protection. Come on, car, you're going to win! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, this, yeah. is, this is quite possibly more dramatic than Swan Lake, even. Right? It's at Swan Lake. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Depending on how many more cuss words we use, it may have more cuss words than uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know. I never saw that movie, though. Did it have a lot of cuss words? I would imagine. Not terribly, because it, like, oh. even the book didn't have a terrible number of cuss words. It was just all smut. It's like butt plugs and stuff. Well, sure. <laughs> really? In it's might have BDSM. To go. It's BDSM for girls who probably don't have bondage sex. You know, it's like, oh, it's okay. for girls who have only ever experienced missionary. Yeah. <laughs> it's so naughty, but it's super attractive. Julian wants to do naughty things for me. I may have to uh, expand my reading list now. <gasps> we got it! He did it! Congratulations, baby. Uno mas. God dang it. Adam is popping out all of my gaskets and stuff since we're gonna be repainting it. It's like all these little pieces, all the O-rings, they all need to come off. YouTube, there you have it. Valve covers are off. Ugh, yes. <sighs> Let me tell you, this job sucks. I'm guessing this is probably a three to five thousand dollar job if you're having a shop do it, just based on the labor. Because I bet you they probably charge eight to twelve hours of labor plus painting those. Uh, we're gonna get them fully disassembled, send them off to get powder coated, and then throw them in. Well, I'll have new valve cover gaskets, and I'll have shiny red valve right. covers. Yay! So he's just taking the all the rubber parts off so that we can send it off to get powder coated. Those sensors and stuff. Get the uh, get the O-rings. Those O-rings. There you go. Just slide them on. Want to lose those? Well, it's gonna look a lot better. There's no doubt about that. All right, YouTube. Well, here is my disgusting valve covers. So actually, now that I'm looking at them, I'm really glad we're doing them. They're in. Uh, Pretty faded, nasty condition. So we're gonna send those off to get painted. It'll probably take them a week or two. I guess that's about it for all we can do today because we gotta get 
these painted. And then once they get painted, we can put on the gaskets and throw everything back together. And then we're gonna worry about doing the valves and cleaning that stuff up. So we'll talk about that in another video. But if you guys would like to support the channel, please go visit normalbysupercar.com. There you can buy supercar parts and services. Use the code NGS10, save 10%. And we thank you guys so much for all of you that have done that in the past and for anyone that's gonna do that in the future. Th seriously, thank you. That is literally supporting this channel and our jobs. We've got the Project 355. We're gonna get going on that very soon. So you obviously are gonna wanna see that. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be doing a lot of car stuff. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. It'll be sweet. So says Adam.